digress into a couple other separate talk of topics on the Affordable Care Act, the Government Accountability Institute, the GIA uh, analysis shows that between July of 2010 and November, the end of November of this year, the President's public schedule was released showing that there were zero one-on-one -on -one meetings with Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius, though there were 277 other one-on-one -on -one meetings with other members of his cabinet. That draws some questions about the President's leadership skills as the chief executive, and I'm curious. Peter, I wish you had going. called me beforehand because uh, I, uh, I'm in a very charitable mood today, so I won't uh, go too strong on this. But that report, not the report you cited, but the published report that was written by uh, an advocate is based on a ridiculously false premise. As those uh, of you who remember uh, stories about uh, waves records that supposedly indicated that Hillary Clinton, then Secretary of State, uh, met surprisingly infrequently with the President, uh, uh, showed that uh, with a little digging, which most of you know, Cabinet Secretaries don't regularly get uh, entered into the visitors' logs because they come frequently. And Kathleen Sebelius comes frequently, and she meets frequently with the President. Uh, I will refer you to the, the, the Department for uh, more information and more detail, but uh, she's here a lot uh, and uh, meets with the President uh, with, uh, regular, uh, with regularity. And, uh, you know, with the exception of when you look at public calendars and uh, things, there are standing meetings for the Secretaries of Defense, State, and Treasury that uh, this President has that are regular things, but he meets with other Cabinet Secretaries in uh, one-on-ones and small groups uh, all the time. And I would note that uh, that those calendars uh, may never show a meeting I've had with the President. Uh, I had two yesterday. So that's how it works. Can I have one final question mm -hmm. then on the, the topic that we started with? Which and then just a, a follow-up on the question of meetings. You refer to state HHS. Will HHS be able to tell us how many times? I, I would. I, I don't know. I, again, because they, they tend to refer us back to years. I'm well, no. I, I think on this case, they'll, be <laughs> they'll have uh, uh, information for you. I, the point I'm trying to make here is, uh, as I was making to a reporter earlier, is that uh, there's obviously a, a lot of folks out there who uh, have been rightly critical of. Healthcare.gov and and in general opponents of uh, Obamacare and the, and uh, the whole effort who uh, have uh, made arguments and that's fine. Uh, this one is just based on uh, bad information. That's that's the only point I was yeah, making. I just to make sure we can get. I, mean, it I, it's, I don't I don't have all the figures in front of me, but if you think about uh, the cabinet and the uh, importance of, in this presidency in particular, uh, health care matters and health care reform, uh, it's safe to say that Kathleen Sebelius has been uh, one of the more frequent visitors to uh, uh, and attendance of meetings with the president. So I don't have the figures, but, uh, you know, if you – there's the secretaries of defense, sec uh, state, and, and, uh, and treasury, as well uh, as Department of Homeland Security, uh, to be sure, and they all – have uh, uh, spent a significant amount of time with the President, met with them uh, on uh, the issues that they oversee. Uh, but because of the preeminence of health care and health care reform in, in, in this administration, first term and second, it's safe to say that Secretary Sebelius uh, spent a lot of time here. So can you just explain, though, how it is, because you, you mentioned that on the schedule, mm -hmm. you know, we see the, the standing meetings mm -hmm. with Secretaries of Defense, State, Treasury. Um, and the, the other meetings don't show up on the schedule. How, how do you determine what you decide you're going to, you know, publicly notice and what you're not I, I think we, we, we uh, endeavor to put as, uh, as much as we know in advance and, uh, and, and as much as we can on the public schedule that we release the day before. Uh, we talk often about meetings that have happened that either are thrown on at the last minute. I mean, when I mentioned that I, you know, was in to see the President a couple times yesterday, they were they're not things that I knew I was going to be seeing him on the day before. So, uh, you know, I think it's just – it's a lot – it's probably kind of like your lives. It, even though he's president, it's pretty fluid. And uh, maybe not like your lives, but uh, – but, but, uh, but also, obviously, there are some meetings that he has that uh, are uh, private and we don't um, – uh, we don't put them on the public schedule uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, 
but the I think the, especially those numbers that Peter was citing are based a lot of them are based on those uh, standing weekly meetings like the vice president's standing lunch uh, weekly lunch that uh, you know are imprinted on there and and those numbers show up major I know details are still coming together but is it anticipated and has the president been invited to deliver remarks or a eulogy for Nelson Mandela